today I want to talk about the three ways to use essential oils. I know sometimes it can be um, intimidating to people because they're not sure how to use them or what to do with them. Um, and even sometimes they buy them because they know they have this awesome potential and then they just sit on their shelves because they don't know what to do with them. So I just want to share really quickly the three different ways um, to use them. And obviously when I talk about the three ways to use them, I am talking specifically about doTERRA essential oils. Um, they're the ones that I know are pure and that I trust and they don't have extra crap left in them or added to them. So the first way I want to talk about is aromatically. So I've got my balance here and one of my favorites for balancing your emotions is so good. But to use it aromatically, you can seriously just take the lid off and so good. I love balance. So you can do that. You can also um, put a few drops in a diffuser and diffuse it in your home or your office or your car or whatever. Um, but your, um, your nose has a ton of nerves and different uh, sensory uh, things going on there. So it's a really good way to get it into your body and to get it quickly. Um, you can imagine with where it is, it gets into your bloodstream and into your you know brain and everything like that really quickly. And um, when I was first learning about essential oils, I heard a really terrible comparison and terrible as in it doesn't sound very good, but it is really good at illustrating why aromatically is such an effective way to use them. So I hesitate to share it because probably not all <laughs> people will think it's funny, but it accurately depicts it. So I'm gonna tell you anyway, if you think about um, people who use illegal drugs, um, a lot of the times they just sniff that crap right up their nose and the reason is because your nose has all of these different you know nerves and cells and all this stuff in there that just gets it right into your bloodstream um, so it's a really quick and effective way to get stuff into your system uh, although I hope you're not using illegal drugs and you're just smelling your essential oils <laughs> uh, it's really really good for that and it's a very effective way to um, help your emotions to do uplifting things or um, things that level you out and make you feel even and balanced or happy and motivated or peaceful or any of those emotions. It's a really effective way to use those specific oils aromatically. So that's the second way, or that's the first way. The second way is topically. Um, so topically, there's a few different things you can do. So if you want to get it into your bloodstream but you don't want to take it internally or it's one that isn't meant to take internally um, obviously your skin is one giant organ it absorbs everything you put on it which is why you should be careful about the things that you're putting on it that's why i switched to natural makeup and um, stuff like that because it does it absorbs into your skin and gets in your bloodstream and into your body so um i use emotional ones this way too um like this one i'm going to show you is jasmine and it comes in a roller bottle, which makes it extremely convenient because you just, oops, if my hair's not in the way, roll, roll, roll. I like to put it on my wrist, I'll put it over my heart, rub it in, um, and that's a good way. If you're using um, emotional oils topically, behind your ear, over your heart, and on your wrists are awesome, awesome places. Um, but if you don't want to smell like the oil because you don't like it, or, you know, because there's some that aren't everybody's favorite smell, um, you can do them on the bottom of your feet. You have a lot of uh, nerves and um, blood cells and things down there and it will get into your blood system within 30 seconds if you rub it into your feet. So that's a good way to get it in your body. And then um, there's things like if you are experiencing muscle soreness and you'd like to soothe those muscles and you use like the deep blue, obviously the deep blue oil isn't meant to be taken internally. Please don't take it internally. <laughs> but to be able to go to the affected area and just rub it right on is an extremely effective way to use that. Especially with those ones that are for soothing things, um, like soothing your digestive system even. You can do like peppermint, wild orange, or digest them and just rub it right on your stomach um, to soothe your digestive system. And those ones you can't take internally as well. Which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. And this is specifically why I said I only... I'm talking about doTERRA essential oils because doTERRA essential oils I know are pure enough to take internally. They're certified pure therapeutic grade, which is a step above just therapeutic grade. So they are safe to take internally. And there are quite a few of them, most of them actually, that you can take internally, uh, depending on what you're using them for, what body system you're 
trying to support. Um, but I've got frankincense here. Ooh, got a little close there. <laughs> um, but frankincense is awesome. It literally supports like every single system in your body. It's so good and it really supports your body's anti-inflammatory response, um, which is extremely important. If you've researched health and stuff, you know that inflammation in your body is one of the main causes of so, so many different illnesses and things. So we want to keep that inflammation down. So anything that helps support our um, a proper anti-inflammatory response is good. So um, with oils that you're going to take internally, if they're ones that you like the flavor of, like, um, like mint ones or citrus ones or cinnamon or things like that that are good tasting, um, you can put them in your food, in your smoothie, in your water. You can just drop them on your tongue and then drink some water. Um, we have little empty veggie capsules that doTERRA sells them and a million other places sell them. You can put the oils in the capsules and like make your own and take them. doTERRA makes soft gels for certain things like um, Digesta and Copaiba, some in Sassy. They all come in pre-made soft gels that you can take. Or another good way to do them, which I'm going to show you with my frankincense, is you can put them under your tongue. Um, and if you put a drop under your tongue, which I'm hoping I can get just a drop, it might be two. I don't know. We'll see when I watch this video. <laughs> but you just put a drop in your tongue. You've got really big blood vessels under there. So it will soak into your uh, bloodstream really well there. And then also if you swallow any of the rest of them, it just gets in internally in your system that way too. So we're going to see how gracefully I can do this on camera. But okay, I'm pretty sure I got two. But I'm just going to hold that under my tongue for a second. And frankincense is weird. It doesn't smell minty, but it kind of has like a minty tingle in your mouth. It is really strong though, but it's not bad. So there we go. Now I've got my frankincense for the day. Um, but frankincense is a good one. It's honestly one we should all be taking internally every day anyway. So there you go. Those are the three ways to use oils. You can use them aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, just depending on what you're using it for will depend um, which way you want to use it. But once you've used the oils for even a short period of time, it becomes pretty intuitive um, which way you should use them. And sometimes you use them more than one way to help with something. Um, and that's great too. So there you go. That's my tips for the day. Hopefully that's helpful, especially if you're new to essential oils. And if you have any questions, my DMs are always open. Bye!